All right, here we are. Week six. We're now two and three, thanks to that loss last week. Thanks to my horrible misplays, two massive ones. One didn't really matter. I, I was going to lose a mana anyway, and it was probably going to be Primarina anyway. And uh, the other one definitely did. Not pain splitting on the Tropagos. But anyway, that's behind us now. We got to play D Ray. I'm starting to get a little less nervous when playing Wi Fi. There's a lot of teams at one and four right now in the BBR. So two and three is actually still in playoffs, surprisingly. Uh, we're, I believe, in seventh at the moment. So a win here would be pretty big. It would kind of like secure our spot. I think that the team ahead of us is at four and one. Yeah, four and one. So right above us is four and one. There's no team at three wins. So yeah, that's why two and three is, is currently playoffs. So we're hoping to secure the number seven spot, maybe get into playoffs with a couple more wins down the line. But D-Ray and I are about to reveal our six to each other. So I'll update the layout in the interim, and then you guys will see the completed team. All right, so layout is updated. We are seeing the Deoxys Defense and the Skun Tank instead of the Blastoise and the Annihilate. I'm really surprised Annihilate's not coming because that was like his best Scarfer in the matchup. I guess Back to Caliber could be pretty good depending on like what I have on the team. Obviously, I have the Terra Berry Scrafty. I have the Prim Marina. Prim's main job is going to be to check Bax uh, at this point because Bax is here. Uh, otherwise, it would have been used a lot more offensively, but uh, I quite like it here. And uh, like other than the Skun Tank, of course. But the Skun Tank is like pretty walled by like muck right <laughs> with uh with stockpile so all right so i think we are just going to lead with treads all right what are we leading with here d-ray let's see bolt is the jolteon okay that's fine uh it's a shiny jolteon i'm gonna calc rapid spin into it because that's what we're gonna go for we are AV, so we should eat uh, Terra Water Terra Blast. I'm just gonna check specs just in case. I'm pretty sure I live that. Water Terra Terra Blast into my treads. Uh, plus one. Uh, yeah, I should eat that. So we are just going to, uh, I think Rapid Spin. Yeah, Rapid Spin's fine. Here's the Terra. Makes sense. There's Terra Blast. How much do we take? That is not specs. It's life orb. Okay, so we're gonna rapid spin. We're gonna get faster than this thing, and then we're just gonna earthquake it. Uh, I could alternatively knock off, but I think earthquake's a better play here. We easily tank that thanks to the assault vest, and we should now be faster under any and all circumstances. And everything on the team is grounded. So it's an easy earthquake. Very nice. Uh, if the Luna comes in, I probably just knock after. The Jolt's already weakened, so that's really good. That means it's probably in focus blast range at this point. It is sitting at exactly 60%. There we go. So that's Jolt, 60%. Does Earthquake kill? It does 68, man. All right, we're going to see the withdrawal. What's coming in? Jarvis is who? Jarvis is the Deoxys. Cool. So pressure. Let's see how much this does. Earthquake. Can we get in any information here? That did about 30. 29-ish. Uh, he's sitting at... Yeah, he's sitting at 71, I think. Yeah, so Deoxys. Defense. How much do you normally take from this? Seems about right for max defense, actually. So we're probably just gonna knock here. Uh, knock does 33 min. So knock into another earthquake could actually kill if he doesn't recover here. So let's just knock off. He might KO me here. That'd be fine. That means no hazards. So we are just gonna get rid of any possible item here. So here's the knockoff. Does still line up with max defense. That's Rocky Helmet gone. Do we see a hazard go up? We do see spikes, so now we can spin. And we can just basically stay in here until we die. That's going to be the play. Uh, so yeah, we are just going to spin here. We are probably going to see the recover. Here's rapid spin. Now we're not affected by Rocky Helmet anymore. Speed's going to go up. And we are going to see the recover. That's fine. Uh, the combination of Earthquake plus Spin should be doing like really good damage. So we're just going to keep going for it. We want to keep this thing low. So here's the EQ. We're gonna see this thing fall to 49. Here's another spike. 
one spike is not the end of the world, considering what he has on his team. So I think I'm actually going to EQ here into Rapid Spin. Because if he knocks me out from here, I'd rather his DOD be low so that I can revenge it. What am I revenging this with, actually? Maybe Ace, maybe Primarina. Probably Thunderous, honestly. Uh, everything's like quite slow into this, is what's annoying. Actually, you know what? I have Court Change. It just occurred to me. So I'm going to go for the Earthquake again here. Yeah. Earthquake here. If he wants to keep the spike up, that's fine. Recover. Yep. I'm wondering what his attacking moves are. Might be Nightshade kind of thing. I'm going to Rapid Spin here. Hopefully get rid of the spike. Would you bring a Psychic move into me is the thing. Here's Nightshade. Beautiful. Okay. So we got rid of the spike. And now Scrafty can come in and Swords Dance. And we did, we did see Nightshade. So we see Spikes recover Nightshade, right? So Nightshade. Spikes. Recover. The Rocky Helmet was knocked off. And we know that this thing is max defense as well. Minus attack. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to go Scrafty here. And we're just going to SD. Uh, I don't think Terra is the play. Uh, I doubt his last move is Focus Blast. So... We're just going to go for Swords Dance off rip without Terra. Because I want to stay a Dark type for the Skun Tank ideally. Hey, we're going to SD. Let's see what he does. Teleport. Okay, cool. Hopefully it's the Ninetales that comes in. It's kind of what I'm hoping for. So he leaves it with no spike up, and his Deox is sitting at 63. Fantastic. It's also not specially defensive. So my special attackers are really good here. So yeah, Terra Blast is all we've seen here. And then we saw those three moves. Cool. Here's the Ninetales. I'm assuming Encore comes out. We are Mental Orb, of course. Started to snow. Yep. Let's just go for the Drain Punch. There's the Encore. Mental Orb is going to trigger. Pop. There we go, nice. All right, and here's Drain Punch, and that does half, fantastic. Do I need to Terra now? How much do you do to me with Moonblast? Whoa, that's a lot of damage, what the hell? Okay, so yeah, we, we definitely Terra then, and we just Drain Punch again. So we're gonna Terra here. Obviously the Skun Tank can come in to revenge us. We do have the Muck, which is quite nice. Getting rid of one low HP Mon as well is quite awesome. Here's Scrafty Terra. We do see the Veil go up. So I'm just going to Drain Punch again. So that doesn't do... That does a little bit more than, than what he had left, actually. Yeah, 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 that's fine. So we can just keep Drain Punching. The Nine Tails is now super low. We do see Aurora Veil on it. I haven't seen an item, so I'm going to assume like Clay. Muck looks quite nice here. There's the Encore, sure. That's fine. Let's knock out this Tails. Beautiful. That's one Mon down. Lola Tails down to zero. Should have been lowering its HP, but it's fine. Okay, so DoD, Jolteon, low. Skuntank could come in to revenge me. But it's actually going to be the Deoxys Defense that comes in, interestingly. Um, I know it's max defense. But it's just going to end up giving me a rest over time. Because I take three Nightshades because of my HP. So, yeah. He's just going to end up killing his own Veil by doing this. So I'm just going to stay Drain Punching. I know I'm on cord, so Here's Nightshade. Beautiful. So we're going to recover a little bit of health here with Drain Punch. Very little. Like three HP or something. Uh, something like that. <laughs> and then we'll Drain Punch again. Nightshade. Oh, but wait, I'm still on court, aren't I? Hmm. Maybe it's best to switch here. Oh, no. Ended the encore. Okay. So now we get to rest. Just the Nightshade. Cool. So now we're going to rest. Let's see if we wake up. We are Shed Skin, of course. Aurora Veil wore off. We did not wake up. We're still going to attempt to SD here. 
Uh, so, Swords Ants. There's the Nightshade. Fast asleep. I need to see how much the Deoxys is at as well. The snow stopped. So that means no more boost for Baxcalibur. We're still asleep. So I'm going to Swords Dance here again. Still fast asleep. Got max sleep turns here. And we should wake up here, right? So rest. Wasting all the Nightshades. Woke up. Let's go for that rest. Let's hope the Shed Skin pops this time. Please. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's go back up to full. Still asleep. Nightshade. Do we wake up? Nope. Do we wake up now? With the shed skin? There it is. Beautiful. Okay. Cool. So now we're going to click Drain Punch. There it is. It's another Drain Punch. He might think that I'm Mono Drain Punch and that I don't have Terra Blast. Let's just rest again. Here's Recover. Okay, cool. So that's a free turn. Well, I mean, Nightshade was a free turn as well. So really didn't make that much of a difference. So here's Rest. Until its HP is restored. Do we get the instant wake up this time? We do. So that means a free SD. Which is what we're going to go for. Pressure is killing my Drain Punches. I got to be careful not to click that anymore. So here's an SD. And we're just going to Terra Blast now, as we are plus four. Another Nightshade comes out. Here's a Terra Blast. This is plus four with quite a bit of attack. So let's see how much this does. Good damage. I could be due for another Swords Dance, but we are just going to rest again. I'm, I'm surprised D-Ray hasn't gone for a spike yet, actually. Like, that's a little weird to me. How much is his Dio at? 37. Got to bring it down to 37. It's probably going to go back up right here. Yep. We're going to go for rest. Let's see if we get the instant wake up again. It's going to be a long one, guys. It's going to be a long one. We have four more rests. Uh, what's Nightshade's PP? 24. It's gone for quite a few already. So we don't get the instant wake up. We're going to try to Swords Dance. We won't wake up here, obviously, but we might wake up off of the Shed Skin. We do not. Oh, we do. We do. Okay, cool. So I'm going to SD again. And nothing should be able to, like, outright kill me if it switches in. I think even Blood Moon doesn't because I'm mainly spit off. Here's the Nightshade. Cool. One last SD. And then let's rest again. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two. I think he's used, like, 15 of them. Around 15 Nightshades. Goes for teleport. If we get the instant wake up here, he's screwed. No hazard is up. There's nothing that I'm too scared of. Skuntank could come in, obviously. That's probably what comes in, if I had to guess. I don't think you go back Scalibur here. Bolt is the Jolteon. That's fine. We know that this thing is Life Orb. I'm pretty sure I tank too. So I'm just going to go for the Drain Punch. Alternatively, I could switch into my but probably don't want to do that. So yeah, let's just go for Drain. Here's Volt Switch. Okay. Does a decent amount. Takes Life Orb hit. This is essentially what Nightshade was doing. It actually did less than Nightshade, so I'm not upset with that <laughs> at all. And this is actually great for me because if I do wake up here with the Shed Skin, then I instantly get a kill. Uh, here's Jarvis again. This is going to be the Deoxys. We're not waking up this turn, so it's fine. We're not getting pressured on our Drain Punch. I'm at 224, so I still eat two Nightshades. There's the Shed Skin pop, and we are going to go for the Terra Blast here. It's now plus six. So here's the Nightshade. And I'm honestly considering just knocking this thing out. But Scrafty is still so good if the uh, Shed Skin pops, <laughs> like on the rest, that I can't do that. I can't. 
He's also only got so many recovers. Obviously, he still has a little bit more recover than I have rests, but I can now start attacking for full, full damage, essentially. Do we get the shed skin once again? Nope. That's fine. We'll just Terra Blast here. I think this Terra Blast is now doing over 50%. Do we wake up? Nope. Cool, that's fine. That means another Nightshade wasted. Cool. And this is a rest turn. Even though we got Shed Skin, this is still a rest turn. We've got two more. Second to last right here. I'm just abusing Scrafty as much as possible right now. I mean, it could sweep, <laughs> theoretically. Like, Drain Punch does kill everything. But I think the Jolteon into, like, whatever other hit is going to kill me. So, uh, Jolt also took 9%, so it's probably sitting at 51. Here's Spikes. Okay, that's fine. We, we've got the Core Change. We can get rid of those. <laughs> Here's the rest. So this is a non-attacking turn from the Deoxys, meaning if we do get the Shed Skin pop immediately, then this Deoxys is dead and we're still healthy. We don't. We don't get that. That's fine. How many Nightshades you got left, buddy? There's still one. Fast asleep. Does it pop? It does. That's actually unfortunate. I didn't want it to pop. I guess I don't need more than five Drain Punches because it kills everything. <laughs> so, well, I might not kill Skuntank, but ter it's plus six. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, we probably just go for Drain Punch here. Here's another Nightshade. Sweet. Now, plus two Night... Yeah, plus... I was going to say, plus two Drain Punch was behind Veil when I went for it before. This one's way stronger. So we give it back up to 166. Uh, and... Can I afford to go for another one? I don't think I can. Ah, uh, you know what? Scrafty, have two kills. It's fine. Okay, cool. That's a recover. If this high rolls him high enough... That's really good. Terra Blast. Okay, that's a lot of damage. I think now I rest. Yeah, now I rest. I don't know if he's out of Nightshades. There's no way it's been 24 turns. No, 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 no shot. Goes for another spike, wow. I could have just Drain Punched and knocked you out. That's crazy. He might not have a Nightshade left. Like, actually, <laughs> I'm not even joking. This is our last rest, so if he still has a Nightshade, then he has a Nightshade. Come on, pop, 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 pop. Damn it. All right. Well, we go for Terra Blast here. We praise out of Nightshades. That's a Recover. That's not a Nightshade. Cool. Pop. Right now. Nope. Terra Blast. Please be out. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Well, still fast asleep. Does it proc? Yes. Cool. Yeah, I think I just Terra Blast and pray for high roll, right? Here's the Nightshade. Honestly, Scrafty's done its job. So we'll just Terra Blast. Oh, you know what? If I don't kill him, actually. Hmm. I'm going to switch. I'm going to go into Ace. I think. He's used quite a lot of recovers. He might have used all eight. Yeah, ace is good. We switched to ace. So switch out. I'm sure he's not expecting this. There's another spike, and now we can court change them away. Sweet. <laughs> I could also go for bulk up initially, but I am just going to court change. Here it is. Let's get rid of those spikes. Whoop. Yep. You've got three spikes now, bud. All right, recover. So he could go for getting up more spikes on my side. I could go muck and start stockpiling. That's not terrible. I actually quite like that. Uh, but he can't recover anymore, so depending on how many nightshades he has left. You know what? He might not actually have that many. So I'm just going to bulk up. Screw it. 
I'm a normal type now, so psychic moves won't hit me for super effective damage at the very least. Here's a spike. Sick. And once I'm plus two, I can actually KO the Blood Moon with low kick. So I'm just gonna keep bulking. Here we go. Do you still have a Nightshade? You do, okay. Except I'm normal, <laughs> so peace. All right, <laughs> I, I completely forgot about that actually. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for another bulk up. All right, here's another bulk up. Teleport, cool. Jolteon only has one switch in because it should be below 50. So let's see what comes in. Pretty sure Skuntank dies to plus three Pyro Ball even if I'm not a, oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is that? That's the Jolteon. I think they, I think he can Volt Switch. Damn. Let's see Cinderace versus Scrafty. Uh, I have a good amount of HP and Spit F right now. I'm just gonna go for the low kick. Nothing on his team takes it. He could Volt Switch into the Skun Tank. It would probably die. Let's just go for low kick. Here's Terra Blast. I am not a fire type anymore, my dude. That is not the play. Okay, that did a lot. <laughs> But it's fine, because we knock out the Jolteon, the only thing faster than us. Uh, now, he could go Skun Tank for Aftermath into Backscalibur. Uh, I just want to see how much Skun Tank takes from Low Kick. Like, to see if I have to Pyro Ball. Uh, low Kick, uh, take off Libero. And give me plus three. Um, I'm not a Fire type anymore, I'm a Normal type. No, I have to Pyro Ball. Low Kick does no damage. It's a base 60 move. So it's got to be Pyro Ball. But it does KO. It does 111 min. So even if he's boots, he dies. Uh, if he's not boots, and even if he's max HP, maybe even max defense. Not max defense, but... Like, it's a roll. It becomes a roll at that point. But, uh, yeah. Uh, the Deoxys defense is sitting at uh, 37. I think. Was it still at 37? I think so. Anyway, um, Thundy looks good to click Focus Blast. I'm not sure why he Terra Blasted. I couldn't tell you. He probably thought I was still a Fire type for some reason, <laughs> once again. All right, here's the Skun Tank. So he has to go into this. I have to miss Pyro Ball for anything good for him to happen here. At worst, I get Aftermath. He could also Sucker here, I suppose. But I'm plus three in defense. So I don't die to Sucker. I only take 20%, which I'm well above. Uh, but I could die to the combination of Sucker Punch plus Aftermath. Also, this could be Scarfed, I suppose. Like, there is that possibility. But very unlikely. And once again, I'm plus three, so I'm not dying to anything. At least I shouldn't. Unless this thing has a random fighting move I'm not aware of. Should have this pretty secured. Here's Pyro Ball. This should knock it out. That is a knockout. There's no aftermath, right? I see no aftermath. I think that's game, guys. Because there's no way the Backscalibur knocks me out. <laughs> Skun Tank's dead. This thing's low. Yeah, this is just a sweep. It's a Cinderace sweep. Holy crap. Let's low kick. Uh, oh, Vacuum Wave. Oh, Vacuum Wave almost took me out. Whoa. Okay. So if he has Ice Shard on the Backscalibur, he stops the sweep. The Luna is dead, um, and only if he has Ice Shard on the Backscalibur. That's it. Tommy is... This should be the Backs, yep. Does it have Shard? Is he overloaded with priority? Let's see. Let's low kick. There is the Shard. Okay, so now Prim comes in, clicks Moonblast, and this game should be over. He shouldn't have any way to kill Primarina. It has a lot of, uh, a lot of defense. And we still have the Custap Berry as well. So even if he hits me like super hard for whatever reason, uh, like he's not Life Orb obviously, but if he was, you know. Um, okay, so that was one spike. Yeah, Moonblast here is free. And yeah, this should be good. I think it's over. <laughs> I think it's a 4-0 win. Yeah, I think D-Ray could have played around the Scrafty a lot better. Uh, I think if he had just gone into some offensive threat when I was rested, like teleport on the rest, hope that I don't wake up to the shed skin, and then just attack, 
Like, I think that that was much better for him. Here's Dragon Dance. Okay. Cool. I think I'm fine. He could be Roselli, I guess. He's not Roselli. That's a Moonblast. That's death. And that should be the game. Uh, I think we Alluring Void... Uh, not Alluring Void. I think we Psychic Noise the... Um, the Dio. Uh, although it is faster than me. But... Like, if he decides to Nightshade because he thinks he lives a uh, an attack, then I think that that's the best play. He probably doesn't live an attack because he's fully Fizz Def, but, you know. Um, actually, yeah, I think I'm just going to Moonblast. I think he might be out of Recovers, actually. So let's just Moonblast. And that should be the game. So, yeah, here's the Nightshade. Looks like he's out of Recovers. And this is going to be a Moonblast, and that's going to be a KO on the Deoxys. And that is GG's to my boy D-Ray. Very good game. Uh, very nice. I think that Scrafty put a lot of pressure on him, and he didn't know how to react uh, once he saw the Mental Herb. So, yeah, it's understandable uh, why he made the plays that he did. But we snowballed our Scrafty a little bit, got it two kills, and then Cinderace got a few more, and Primarina finished us off. So, very good game. We're now 3-3 three and three, uh, with a pretty good record, too, because of that 4-0 win. So, hopefully we can carry that momentum into the last two weeks. Let's pray. And uh, no more, uh, no more huge missteps from here. <laughs> All right. So thanks, guys. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, go and check D-Ray out in the uh, description down below, guys. Please go and do that for me. Uh, he's a great content creator. He also shouted me out recently to try to get me to a thousand subs. I'm very, very close. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If this is your first time on the channel, 53% non-subscribers watching my videos. So it would be a huge help. It would be great to have you uh, be part of the uh, the community, the Astro J community. So go and do that. Thank you so much. Leave a like on the video. Catch you guys next week. Peace.